So now we've worked on how to get a good sound on the saxophone. You've been working on having good posture, good airstream as you play through the saxophone. But one of the most important things in getting that good sound is having a good reed and a reed that plays well. The reed is one of the most important things on the saxophone. It vibrates, it creates the sound. And if the reed doesn't vibrate properly, you won't get a good sound. So we're going to talk a little bit about reeds, how to get reeds on the mouthpiece and get them playing the best they can. The first thing you want to do with a reed, you get a box of reeds. I pull out a reed. I take a reed out of the box and out of its little case. Take a look at it. Make sure it's not warped. Warped reeds don't play good. Warp means it's got a warble in it. We don't want to have that. I want to get the reed wet, so I put it in my mouth. I let it sit in my mouth maybe 30 seconds or so, get it wet, get it, get it good and wet. Not dripping wet though, we want the water that, from your mouth to soak into the reed so that the reed vibrates better. So that's the first thing we're going to do, just get it wet. You can also put it in a glass of water if you prefer, but using your mouth always works. That's what I always do. I use my mouth to get the reed good and wet. So that's the first thing. Now I'm going to show you a little bit on the saxophone how to put a reed on. I will show you just on the mouthpiece by itself. So I have a reed already. My reed again. Good and wet. Now I also like to do this. I like to flatten the tip a little bit on the face of the mouthpiece, as you can see, like this. I flick it a little bit just to flatten it out. Sometimes reeds get warped if they dry out, so this helps to unwarp in the reed after it's gotten a little bit wet. And then you're ready to put it on the mouthpiece. Now what I do, I'm right-handed, so I hold the mouthpiece in my left hand, and I take the reed, the flat part of the reed, and put it on the face of the mouthpiece, the flat part of the mouthpiece. So when you put the reed on the mouthpiece, it's very important that it lines up. The tip of the reed and the tip of the mouthpiece line up. I use my left hand to hold the reed in place. My right hand helps to push the reed up into its spot, and as you can see, you might see a little bit of the tip of the mouthpiece over the reed, and I hold it in place and slide over the ligature just like that and tighten the screws. Screws have to be loosened when you put it on and push it down just below where the, the dip of the reed is, where it's the flat part of the reed. The reed is cut below the cut of the reed. You see that? Okay, that's the ligature. Now there are two types of ligatures. There's a ligature with the screws on the bottom and that's probably the kind that you have where the screws are on the side where the reed is. Also, there could be kind where they're on the top, just different types of ligatures. You have to figure that out. And there you go. That's, that's the reed in place. And just like before when we talked about putting the saxophone together, we put the mouthpiece on to the neck of the saxophone. And then you're all set. Your reed should be wet and ready to go. Now one thing to be said about reeds, if you're struggling with your sound, it very well could be that you have a bad reed or that you didn't properly prep your reed to play it. So always try to check your reeds before you think something's wrong with your saxophone. Now if your reed, you're sure your reed is working okay and the saxophone is having a problem not playing right, look up and down your saxophone and make sure there aren't any bent keys. You have to take a very good look at it, see if there's anything going on. And if you can't figure it out, try a few more reeds and see if a different reed might make a difference. If it doesn't, then maybe you need to take your saxophone to a repairman to have it looked at. Make sure there's no problems with the saxophone. And also go to your music teacher and see if there's any problems with the way you're playing the saxophone. That can make a difference as well. Now when you're done, it's always preferable if you take off the reed from the mouthpiece. Okay, unscrew just like we screwed it on, take it off, 
and keep it in a good storage place. These cases that come with the reeds that you buy work just fine. You can also buy a case, special case for reeds. It looks like this. So see, I have four reeds on both sides in this, and it helps to keep the reeds flat in the case. So that's a really good thing. So take them off. That will preserve the life of the reed because reeds don't last forever. I would say about every few weeks you're going to have to try to find a new reed. And I play through several reeds just to find a good one. And if I'm playing a lot, maybe once a week I have to look for a new reed. If I'm not playing a lot, well then maybe a reed will last for a month, but not too much longer than that. So you have to change the reeds. Old reeds just do not sound good. Reeds make a huge difference. So I really uh, recommend that you spend some time taking care of your reeds and looking for good reeds.